everyone welcome back to the omni studio series i am vishnu kumar and today we will learn about uh, integration procedures um, set values response action and how we can access the fields okay so let's get started and let's create one ip so we will give the ip name here um, like ip and then set response action we'll provide the same into type and subtype as well hit the save button okay so now we have our ip uh, and then let's go to the set value and drop the set value action here okay so let's understand elements here like what we have here right so first thing that you see this uh, element name right uh, this element name uh, plays a big role here. Uh, like it's not just to the set value action; it's uh, it's for every action that we have, right? So whatever name we have here is a is a node actually. Okay? So and then we have element name, type, and value here. Okay. So we have set value created, and now we can create multiple variables here. Okay. So what I am going to do is I will create first name okay and then i will also create last name two elements okay and then in value i will provide the static values okay so i will provide vishnu and then last name is a kumar okay and i will give the element name as a full name here so now we have one set value action where we have two elements first name last name and a value we have that is a static value right and in this right wherever you see the fx right that means uh, you can have the formulas as well right so in this you can write um, you can write formulas uh, like uh, you can multiply something something like this you can have the static text and then you can also do the count queries right as well we will go through those as well okay so first let's go and let's preview it okay so let's execute it and let's see how it is okay so if you see the debug response here that you can see that uh, the node that we have renamed it's uh, available here full name and whatever variable we have created those are available as a nodes here so full names first name full names last name okay so this is how you can create your set value action okay uh, and let's create one more here okay so what i will do is like i will call it a element name is a merge name okay and now whatever value that i have defined here i will use here and i will concatenate that okay so here i will say full name without underscore okay so now how we access the values like how we can access the values in the ip right so let's look at it okay so the data that we have is stored it's in the full name and first name last name okay so we will go here okay and then percentage sign okay so this is how you access your variables okay so this will be your variable right so again uh, this is this is not where we have the name store directly but let's go with this for once okay so let's hit the okay full name and so merge names node then we have full name and in that we are assigning whatever we have here okay so let's execute it so if you see this merge name so whatever we had on the full name node right we are getting that entirely here right so let's go back and we don't want the uh, the like uh, the full node from here right we we need specifically these first name right so what i will go, do is that i will go here and to access the node you need to provide colon okay so full names colon first name okay so let's go back let's execute Okay, so you, you are seeing that. 
So merge names, full name have the Vishnu, but we need the second value, which is our last name. Okay, I will go there, I'll delete this back. Okay, and no, I don't want that. I want to concat this. One space, last name, and which is also in our full name node. Percentage sign, okay. Go back, execute. So now you can see that in merge name node, we have full name element that we created and in that we have concatenated the over name from full name first name to full name last name okay so this is how you can access the variables okay so let's look at the next step example where we have the array of the data and how we can pass the uh, data and that how we can access the data whatever we are passing here okay so let's go back and let's create an array called names okay and we will have object here so same kind of objects what i will do is instead of that i will copy from here because this is what we want so we have this and then we have this john so okay so we have two objects in this names array okay and then i want to access this one and this one okay so i will create one more merge name too so i don't want to touch this right uh, example so what i will do is like i will create a set value and i will give this and you know what let's do this uh, let's delete this so on action if you see we have three options here you can drag and drop the sequence right and change the sequence and then you can delete and there is a one more which is clone okay so i will go ahead and clone it right so when whenever we clone something uh, the name will be automatically generated but whatever else we have it will remain same okay so this time i will call this merge name using array element so here uh, we have merge name using array element which is a node then we have one more node which is full name and now instead of uh, utilizing whatever we have stored we want to utilize what we are passing here and also we want to utilize the first index okay so how we can do that names okay and to access the index we need to use this pipe sign okay and then we need to provide the index okay so what we are saying the array that uh, from the that we have is names okay get out the first uh, index and from that first index we need first name and we need last name okay a uh, one interesting point here like in general if you are coming from programming world every array start from the zero right but in Omni Studio arrays start from the first, right? So this is this is uh, quite different. Uh, please do remember this. This is important. So rather than uh, utilizing the first index, I will utilize the second one. So we can see the differences here. Okay. So I will go back and I will hit the execute. Okay, we have received some error. It must be uh, related to the array. Okay, so this is correct. Click execute. Okay, cool. So now um, you can see that this is the node that we created merge name using array element. So now we have full name as John Doy and merge name which we created earlier, which is coming as it is. So this is how you can access the variable, right? And let's go back. And now let's jump to the our second action, which is our response action. Okay. Cool. And I will give a, this something called like response result. Okay. So what is response action? Okay. So if you have seen 
public math public classes or like whatever classes normal fx classes right and uh, you have methods right then you have your return statement as well this is what it is right if you want to process something and if you don't want to return you don't need this response result right but if you want to return something right so for example you are calling this from flex card or you are calling from apex class okay and you want to return some data right so you perform this operation you are passing first name last name from the flex card or omni script and then you want a merge name right so what you can do is you will add the response action and this will return your data back to wherever we are calling this ip from okay so let's go back and let's see what happens now you are seeing that the response is still blank right why it is blank so let's go back and let's see okay there are a couple of options we have send response tra transformation right uh, we will cover this in our next session so i don't want to go into this right now okay and then we have something called return full data json okay so once you check it right so what will happen now whatever thing that you are seeing will be written okay so you can see whatever we had here um, which is in our full data json we can see this right so this will be written uh, okay uh, but this is not a best practice right you are returning the entire json and you need something specific from here right um, you you may be needing this right uh, whatever we have this right we don't want entire json right this will slow your performance as well right so in additional output response okay what we can do is so i will call it uh, merge name response okay uh, this is pretty much same that we had this in the set value but set value do something else and this things do something else right so it basically returns right and you can do the same kind of uh, merging here right so let's go back and we are saying whatever we have in the merge name using array okay and in this whatever we had in the full name element please uh, return that through this response result okay and this time i will uncheck it right uh, else like you won't able to say it right so i will uncheck it preview it execute so you see you are seeing this like merge name response right so merge name response is coming from here which is which we mentioned in response result and this is how we are getting right how we can add the multiple as well right and you know what like whatever we are doing here right because this is also formula we can also do directly here as well right so we don't need these actions but i will keep these actions here for our understanding right so what i will do is like i will create the same thing here okay Okay, and I will call this like direct merge. Okay, so go back preview. Right, same result, uh, but utilizing different different approaches here. Okay, so and again, um, if you want to debug it, uh, you will see every step here. Right, so whatever step you added, like you added full name, merge name, merge name using the array, then you have the response result. Right, so you will see everything, uh, everything here as well. Okay, so that should be it um, for the uh, like set value and how we can access the variables uh, and um, how we can utilize the response result. Okay. So see you in next session and also please uh, do subscribe the channel if you haven't. Bye-bye. Uh, Thank you.